customers don't form their opinions on quality from marketing. They don't form their opinions on quality from who won the, uh, the Deming Award or who won the Baldrige Award. They form their opinions on quality from their own experience with the products or the services. Quality is the reason why organizations survive. It is the reason why customers rave about their products or services. And it is the single most critical factor that differentiates the best from the rest. According to you, what is quality? How do you define quality in your own words? In this video, we will explore and understand this term quality. If I ask you to define the term quality, some of you may say that quality is producing defect-free products. Some may say that quality is meeting set standards. And some may say that quality is meeting customer expectations. All of you are right. In my view, the definition of quality is the perception of a product or a service on an individual's mind. I'll repeat. The definition of quality is the perception of a product or a service on an individual's mind. This is just my definition based on the time that I have spent in this field. So if I am sharing a definition, I should give you examples that support this definition, right? Many years ago, when iPhone 4S was launched by Apple, one of the leading newspapers in New York wrote that this smartphone can only be used to make phone calls. The phone software had so many glitches that the launch was filled with a lot of criticism. But did this criticism lead to any decline of the sales of that phone? Not at all. It was one of the best selling products as soon as it was launched. Apple customers had so much trust in the company that they knew Apple would release patches that would take care of those glitches. During that same period, Nokia launched its smartphone series called Nokia Lumia. Now this phone had some really amazing features. Nokia claimed that it was a defect-free phone and no doubt it was indeed free from any defects compared to its rival iPhone 4S. Another feature was that all the apps were free. In Apple, you may not find everything free. The third feature was awesome. This was one of the first smartphones which was built with Ferrari technology. What is Ferrari technology? I'm sure you have used the early versions of Nokia phones such as the iconic Nokia 3310. What happened if that phone accidentally dropped? All of its parts would disassemble they would not break, but just be dispersed. This is in line with the cars used in F1 race, where if the car meets with an accident, all of its parts would disassemble. The tires would fly out, the engine will be out, driver's cockpit would be intact, but even that would be dispersed. This technology focused on reducing the damage to the phone by distributing the accidental impact on several parts. At that time, there was no other smartphone manufacturer which had this technology inbuilt in its phone. Nokia Lumia really stood out on its features. But even then, was it really a success? Forget about those times. Even today, if I give you a choice of picking either an iPhone 4S or a Nokia Lumia phone for free, which one would you choose? The obvious answer by most is iPhone 4S. Why do you think people chose iPhone over Nokia Lumia? Let's go back to my definition of quality. It's all about the perception of a product or service on an individual's mind. The perception of Apple's products is much higher than any of its competitors. For its customers, Apple products have much higher perceived value even if products of other competitors may be better. What are your thoughts? Share with me in the comment section. You just learned my definition of quality. I am not a quality guru like Deming or Juran. So now it is time to learn their definition of quality. Mm -hmm. 
W. Edwards Deming stated that quality is defined from the customer's point of view as anything that enhances their satisfaction. Joseph Duran stated that quality is fitness for use, those product features which meet the needs of customers and thereby provide product satisfaction, freedom from deficiencies. American Society for Quality, also known as ASQ, defines quality as the totality of features and characteristics of a product or service that bear on its ability to satisfy stated or implied needs. Customer Operations Performance Center or COPC, which is considered as the holy grail for transaction processing business, defines quality as the knowledge of agents that would enable them to provide accurate and consistent solution to the customer at the very first attempt. International Organization for Standardization, popularly known as ISO, defines quality as the degree to which a set of inherent characteristics of a product or service fulfill requirements. Those are the different definitions of quality. Before we get to the final chapter, time for a brief intermission. If you check out the description of this video, you will find a number of useful resources that teach several aspects of quality management including Six Sigma White Belt, Yellow Belt, Green Belt and Six Sigma Black Belt. You can also learn Lean Management, Value Stream Mapping and Just-in-Time Techniques. I have a full suite of mini tap courses and several other specialization programs in the field of quality and project management. All of these courses are accredited by the globally renowned CPD certification service. You can request for CPD credits by taking my courses. I host my courses on Udemy, which is today's leading educational marketplace. These courses also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. At the time of recording this video, my courses have been consumed by over 150,000 professionals in 176 plus countries. You will see 20,000 plus independent reviews by my previous students. Each program that I offer costs less than the price of your lunch. I have shared the links with the coupon codes that offer each course in less than $15. These end-to-end -end programs will help you build your career, increase your visibility, add professional certifications to your profile, and make your resume lucrative in today's job market. So if you are interested in building your skill set and are looking for fast growth, pause this video now and check out the links in the description. Watch the free preview lectures, check out the independent reviews of previous students and enroll in these Quality Management, Six Sigma, Lean, Minitab and other specialization programs. Then let's get back to our video. So what is quality? Simply stated, quality comes from meeting customer expectations. This occurs as a result of four activities. Understanding your customer requirements. Designing products and services that satisfy those requirements. Developing processes that are capable of producing those products and services. And lastly, controlling and managing those processes so they consistently deliver to their capabilities. So that's what quality is all about. If your organization suffers from quality issues, it is doomed for failure. Quality is by far the single most reason for an organization to thrive in the market. It is the reason for your customers to keep coming back to you to buy more products and services. It is the reason for an organization to be successful financially. I hope you have liked this video. Stay tuned for more such interesting content. Also. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you soon.